You're watching Channel 4. Barbarians come from within. Perhaps the only barbarian art which our society admits is the graffiti. Inevitable, all our buildings are exposed to the spray gunner's efforts. And the element in the graffiti is not the human figure, it is the letter form. Maybe the barbarians are teaching us something that we don't yet understand. Last time, at 22 and a half million pounds, at 22 million 500 thousand pounds for the last time. Maybe the way out of our impasse, if there is one, must be in looking for such minor crumbs of comfort. Bombing. Yo, Grim, who called girl on what bombing is? Yo, you want me to get flipped on the word bombing? Turn the word bombing to a beautiful sound. sound. See my name, Grimrod, all around the town, all the cars on the train. Be looking so bright, blasted full of color in the middle of the so night. The night. I'm chilling in the park, that's my domain. Living in a city full of hate, full of pain. Living in a city where you got to pay. Surviving a night to live another day. Bombing, bombing. Keep on. Bombing, bombing. Red, 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 Wake up, grab my bait, take a look at the time, whip out my tools and grab my outline, get a little bit of stimmo, a little bit of sex, hook up my style and make it complex. Be the few, meet the proud, the TAT crowd, we be rocking the line and I say it out loud, rocking the style, that's on top of the pile. T-A-T outlaws or in your foul. Bombing, bombing, keep on. Bombing, bombing. Yeah. 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 I mean, hip hop is a tough time over there the same way it does here. But it's the outlaw music, it's the renegade kids, you yeah. know. But uh, one of the best things we can get out of this is the sense of communication <laughs> between the kids here and the kids over there. I mean, that's really the basis for the whole show. That's the idea, to bring this sort of Zulu Nation message from, you know, from here to over there. I think that's a good idea, man, that you should go to England and France and spread Zulu, man. I think Zulu should be a positive thing all over the world. Well, our people from the Zulu Nation, meaning our DJs, our rappers and stuff, you know, we, for different causes, we would go over there and shock the house. Hip-hop sold it up. We can set it up so you do some painting, and the kids all come and they ask you about style and technique, and they want to know how to do it. That's the right man right there, right. Roller Grimm. I'm going to go there and grab it. Oh. Right. We've got to do yeah, the beauty workshops as well. What's this? You're going to be giving hip-hop school? That's right. It's going to be a school for hip-hop. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, you handle the fun. <laughs> 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 Bam said, rock shock it, you know? But the know the Browns is coming. Tell the government. Brim is coming to rock the rap feedy world. <laughs> oh, Brim! <laughs> For many people, graffiti is um, just another sign of how scruffy the modern world has become. But across the Atlantic Ocean, some graffiti has now been elevated to the status of an art form. 
And with us, Brim Fuentes, the graffiti king of the New York subway. Have I pronounced your name correctly, sir? Yeah. And how long have you been doing graffiti? Since 1979. How old were you then when you started? 15. Did you just begin with the aerosol spray can because there was nothing else to do in the South Bronx? Well, yeah, I began painting, painting on the trains as a sign of, like, expressing myself and doing something useful instead of just, you know, standing on the street, you know, getting into fights and stuff, you know, doing, producing something. You know, I used to like to see the trains ride with my name across it. And it made you feel like you were somebody, you know, living in a place like the South Bronx. I mean, we can have a look, actually, at one of um, Brim's completed uh, graffiti. Um, there it is. I'd, I'd have no difficulty in looking at that and, and pondering over it and wondering just what it is. It looks as if you're spelling out a word in the middle. Can you tell it's me? It's freedom. F oh, freedom, my big one. I didn't see the D there. It's art. It's the first time anybody's ever done anything you're, you're like this. You're not just talking about the first time we've done anything like this. It's the first time it's ever been done. Yes. And it's not Yeah, but you see, there are very few places that actually um, are catering to teenagers, like the shop is doing. So, I mean, it isn't just, you know, graffiti. We are, we are actually trying to bring another dimension to this whole sort of hip-hop culture. What's the difference between a culture and a fad? I thought that was obvious. Well, a few empty. N for nuts. Yes. Bye-bye. Hello, Brad. Hi, how are you? It's Jane Alfred's officer. Yeah, I'm very frazzled. I've got massive things for you. Look, listen. Listen, I must tell you, we got through immigration, no problem whatsoever. The whole lot got through. Balm, Lisa Lee, I can see, no problems whatsoever. Well, look, the calls so. I've taken this morning, Standard, The Mirror, Sunday Times. Who else? Oh, God, yes. Now, there's all the radio people that are coming along to actually interview both Brim and the kids that are there. You won't mind giving interviews and things? No, no, no. It's tomorrow. good, because a lot of it seems a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people are talking in the point of ignorance, you know? Yeah. Calling me a vandal or whatever they're calling me. They don't, they don't understand what I'm doing. They don't even understand what it's about. They ain't never seen graffiti. But it isn't just the graffiti work. What we'll be doing is, in that previous week, we're doing scratch mix workshops. <laughs> Do you want to go? Then Lisa Lee and the two round polishing classes. Does anybody want to try? <laughs> Women of the world, no matter the race. Women of the world, no matter the race. To stand in the place, because we's on the case. To stand in the place, because we's on the case. Who else wants to try? When I say something, you're going to repeat what I say, OK? Go off, go off. Throw your hands in the air and listen to me. Throw your hands in the air and listen to me. You listen to the voice of MC Lisa Lee. Listen to the voice of Charlie C. We've done this as though it was classical music. You know when they have master classes? Yeah. And, um, the cello and all that sort of thing. Well, we're having master classes in the full of hip hop culture. Check it out, yeah, we got DJ Red Alert who plays on 98.7 Q. Ultimate, 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 ultimate. ultimate. I'm going to show you how we used to start scratching. In the beginning, it used to go, and that was it, you know? At that time, you thought you was the greatest thing out there, you know? Then Flash, he started doing this thing about, wah, 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 wah. We started thinking, that man's going to mess his records up. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, Jamie speaking. Jane, hi. Uh, my name is Robert Keller. I'm yeah. a, uh, a producer with uh, American Television ABC News. Uh huh. And I understand from reading some of our more colorful papers that uh, you've invited some uh, hooligans and thugs from our fair New York City over here for a festival. Is that right? Well, yes. Um, I take <laughs> I take issue with you over hooligans and thugs. But <laughs> but I'd very much like to talk to Brim and film some of the workshops. Right. Well, I'm sure that would be okay. Um, just as a matter of interest, what, what kind of angle are you going to take on this? Is it going to be positive or negative? Oh, no, no, purely, purely, purely salacious and, and degrading, I can assure you. Right, right. <laughs> well, but basically, it's a curious phenomenon for the Americans okay. to see that kind of culture exported to the English. Probably. Right. And we will probably do a take very funny angle. Right. It'd be humorous. You hope. Later. Well, the story is basically this uh, New York graffiti right, artist. Okay. Uh, okay. Came up, he's come to England and he's... Uh, there aren't many things we Americans can teach the Europeans about art. 
But this 19-year-old school dropout, ex-drug user and ex-criminal from the Bronx has been holding seminars in London and Paris. You know, it just, you mess around with cats to get a different... Graffiti art is the latest rage over here. And Natalio Fuentes, better known among his millions of fans as Brim, is the Pied Piper of spray paint. I help these kids. I tell them, hey, don't take no drugs. Hey, don't steal. Don't, don't, don't scribble on the walls. If you're gonna do something, ask permission. You know, you know I, that that kind of influence. I'm not telling these kids because I could easily tell these kids, hey, destroy the city, and and they would do it. And a lot of people are afraid that armed with the drive for self-expression, Brim's disciples will pan out and deface one of the world's most beautiful cities. What counts? People's opinion. But if people start saying stuff that didn't take no effort, you felt like painting, so you went out there and painted, and didn't even have nothing planned, and they're gonna say, hey, it's, it's, it's not art, man. It's just kids fooling around together. Well, I'm talking about when you're planning out on paper before, oh, you, you, before you go to the wall. How far do you go? Do you, do the, you do only the outline. The outline. You just yeah. you sketch it, you know, and you keep on sketching it till you can do it in your you know, in your feet. So you do the colors <laughs> on the spot, though. That's, yeah, the, that's the colors are you know, it's like motion painting. Right. Right. You know, really boom, boom. You know, so whatever you it. feel that day. You gotta practice, 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 man, so you gotta sit down, you know. Staying in England. I don't know, maybe about another week, week and a half, two, that's all right. So we have time to fix it, man, because I do want to do this wall, man. This wall could be so devastatingly fresh. Yeah. You don't stop to, to you can't paint no more, you know? One thing that you might be interested in, Bob, actually, is we've had a call from British Rail to bring to do a wall. New York graffiti style. Yes. That'd be terrific. Yes. Yeah, I got the fresh design in my car. That's brilliant. You got your wall all over? It's sunshine. I'm going to lie. They're going to be so fresh. I think we need the whole wall. But we need to get the top. This head is going to come up there halfway to the You know, it's like Vanity. Let's 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 do let's do the couple. Of yeah. Okay. You think it's nice? It ain't finished. You got a lot to go. God, I'll check when it's finished. Why you say that for? Hmm? Why you why you why you act like I, I, that I for? I don't understand it. So just because you don't understand something, you put it down right away. I'd rather put something else on the wall than just that. But if you don't understand it, just... you could understand. See, that's the whole thing about this whole movement, is, is to try to understand other people's life and, and other people. Okay. If I didn't understand you and understand the way you were, I wouldn't put you down. You know, I, I'll try to understand it. If I don't understand well, it, they are doing that nothing. in the country. Look at every day there's somebody, somebody's killed. I mean, every time you put the telly... The, but they're saying the killing somebody. Somebody's got killed. I mean, it isn't Britain anymore. I don't know about that. I don't understand. But it isn't easy exporting America's hip-hop culture to those who aren't hip. And then we have to copy America? <laughs> Lady, <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> young American with a foreign policy crisis, trying to make his mark on European culture without defacing it. Mike Lee, ABC News, London. I've just had a call from Ruskin College, Oxford. Oh, no. Okay. Harvard? Yeah. They want him to do a class, to lecture to their fine art students. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Oxford is um, a really old university town. I mean, it's centuries older than Yale or Harvard or any of that. I mean, it really is, yeah. And it's all um, dreaming spies.
understand what graffiti really is unless you live around abandoned buildings and, and cars that are burnt and stripped. Once it gets into art galleries and respectable places, it kind of loses its, its value and its fight. And graffiti on the trains, that's our museum, museum, you know, that's our art gallery. And if like a train that I do comes into the station, they'd be like examining this shit. <laughs> you know, like, if I was to go to like an art school and, and show them graffiti, and I walk in there with my portfolio, you know, full of pictures of trains, and they'll tell me to get out, because I was, you know, like, you know, criminal and shit, like a wanted criminal. recreating it on a lot in Pinewood or something like that and wants you to um, add a touch of authenticity by Art. giving a bit of yeah, graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Death Wish 3, it always be making look like the, the Puerto Ricans and the blacks in New York look like oh. the animals. You know? Basically, they just want to want me just to write my name all over the place and make it look bad. They're not going to want to see, you know, good graffiti. All the movies is like Charles Boston comes and boom, 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 kill all the... The hood, the black party, you can hood, never, never nobody could. You know, see it. Gentlemen, the streets are full of degenerates, killing each other indiscriminately. Arrest them! See the first two death wishes? Well, the third, he goes to, uh, to Brownsville in East New York and kind of uh, befriends some elderly people in an apartment block of all races who are terrorized by street gangs. And eventually the whole neighborhood rises up against the street gangs led by Charlie Bronson. And there's a kind of goodies versus baddies, almost World War Three. Well, what they've got in this area are very dilapidated old apartment houses, mainly Victorian 1900-ish apartment houses. We're going to dirty all that down so it looks very grubby. Uh, and they're still inhabited. They were once uh, middle class, in fact, uh, largely Jewish area originally. And now it's larger Hispanic and black area. 
I actually saw a trade in York the other day with no completer. No. Huh? Because I'm over here. That's because you're over here. <laughs> Absolutely. You better get back to him. The trains are getting away. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't shave, really. I suppose I did. Gentlemen, this will be a wonderful movie. I want every wall to be looked at. Don't look at the actors on this movie. Look at the walls. Forget the script. Forget the story. Look at the walls, and if you see them sign, look harder. Is that right for him? It'll be sensational. Oh, it's fantastic. From page of the Guardian. That's the quality paper. That and the bad news. What? Ooh, the bamboo. I suppose we should have expected it, actually. But look. so what is good if they don't like it? Well, we're yeah, it but I mean, stealing. Yeah. Stealing he makes, he you, he makes you sound like yeah. a gangster. Oh, you're kidding. Hang on, wait, that's between Gene. Gene, they're queuing already. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. How many? They've There's tried to really. suppress it. And um, where's the answer? The queue is now forming down Euston Road. Exactly. They haven't been right, able to suppress it. <laughs> okay, we're going to take it from the top, the second half. That's Red Alert, IQC, Jazzy Joyce, Lisa Lee, and Bear Bottom, please. <laughs> Where is Red Alert? Where is Red Alert? Let's go, quiet. We're going to run straight through the bottom. There's some people that aren't here, but we're not going to stop, okay? Let's go. The show has never been seen by anybody. Hold on here. London, are you ready? Yeah. Yo, um, here you go right here. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Just rocking stuff over here, bro. All right. 
Yeah, man. Doing a show with a lot of people, man. Yeah, they want me to go all over the country now. Meet people and everything. That's cool. Right. But it's kind of, I don't want to go by myself, man. So, you know, I could bring somebody. Yeah, yo, I got this person in mind, man. Who's that? Me. <laughs> you swear. <laughs> now, you want to come down? That's why I, was gonna, that's why I called. Come down. I'll go out there. I guess, I'm gonna send the tickets. I'm gonna make all the reservations tomorrow. All right. All right. So all yo, right. you, cool you out, just cool man. out, man. All right, all right later. later. Watch it, I got this one right here. Look at this, look at this character, the big head. <laughs> look, at, look at his head. His whole body is bigger than, look, his laces are dripping. Yo, man, man, got this fresh new record out, homeboy. Street record. You got the, excuse me, you got the new Africa Bambada record in the family? Yeah, man, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. Word. Can you play it? Making any sense, most people going to work and doing these working schemes, 25 pounds, because it's cheap labor. At the end of the 12 months, you're expecting to get a permanent job. When you go out there, the factory is closing down. Yeah. You got to put a fight, man, you know? Yeah. You can't, they, yeah. no, people can't push you around like that, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to do that is through education. 
true. Because it, it, you know, that's, that's, that's where the power is, man. Education's gone as well. Brainwashing. Education. Brainwashing. They don't teach you what you really want to know. Like me, I'd like to want to, if I was in school, I want to know in Africa, Jamaica. What about England, kings and queens? Because it doesn't really concern me. It's like you, where you come from, you want to learn at your roots. Same thing with God, you want to know his roots. That's why, that's why we started hip hop. Because, you know, I can't relate to no ballet. I ain't no ballet, and I don't listen to no classical music. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want, and I don't want to hear no, no Elton John. I want to hear, you know, Grandmaster Flash or, or, or Africa Bambata. So they could have the newspapers, they could have the television program, but I could have the trains, and I could have the wall, and I'm gonna keep it along, and I'm gonna make sure that before I die, you know, people can know what happened in the South Bronx, what happened here, you know, and in Wolverhampton, Britain, um, um, Birmingham, Bristol, London. Yeah, it's just about spraying, like, just pretty cool as all other places. Spraying something where people can now me refer to, man. You can speak. If you can't speak it like this, you might as well speak it on the walls, man. Or speak something like that. If you can't say it, just play it, man. Yeah, I feel good about today, man. I'm gonna get swift. Hopefully, man, they all just stay together, man, because this is making history, bro. This is serious. Yo, serious shit. This is making history. I think it's very interesting that the, um, a lot of the stuff, the, the, the lettering, is the, is the key to it. Right. Because um, I know some art historians think that the letter form is going to be the big um, motif in painting this century, and it's going to replace the human figure as the central motif in painting. And it's like a whole new art form, almost. We're just copying just want to introduce ourselves. I'm Dave, and this is Steve. How you doing? Brown. the mule around the corner. Good to have you in Birmingham. Thank you. This has been funded, this thing, by the County Council in the Midlands. Is there, is there any chance you could fund something like this in America from a local council or a city council? In America, you, know, you rarely get this kind of stuff, you know? You know? Like, the muralists are the ones that get all the stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Because in America, I'm, like, seen as a, a, the biggest vandal, you know? Hi. I'm sorry, Pat. How you feel? We did the mural around the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were... Uh, 3D. 3D. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Well, I've been doing it for years, you know, about two and a half years, yeah. It was nothing to do with the hip-hop culture as it was then, you know? It was just like getting into it, messing about, and then it got a bit more serious. Right. And then everyone sort of grew up together, you know, and everyone started in different towns and everyone got to know each other, you know? And then... We have a look at the working drawing for this one. Yeah. yeah. This is just this, just this one. It's a reinforcing character. So your stuff normally has a political centerpiece? It depends. I mean, I've done pieces like The Day the Lord Died, which is like a, just a fantasy. It's not sort of a, an anarchist statement or anything. But it's, it's in a way saying that graffiti's taking it, you know, and uh, the law can't do anything about it when we're out there and not doing it. Mm. That's what it's saying. Art oh, freedom. I've made my art bigger, so the F is kind of encapsulated in the art. Your working drawings are always this finished, are they? Yeah, I always finish. Well, Colour studies doing, and. Yeah, I always do colour study and an outline. I've got an outline book, but I've already got the outline up here. So I know what I'm doing there. And you just scale it up by eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got nerves of steel, mate. <laughs> it's unusual to have four different groups working on a thing at yeah. the same time. It's never happened to you before. We normally don't work like this. Because then they'd be biting. That's, you know, they copy your style, they see the way you do it. You know what I'm saying? And they try to imitate it. They go. Secret. Yeah. yeah. You ever have any arguments working Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Sometimes we battle. Same thing like here. You know, and then at the end, they just let the people judge, you know, whose piece they like the best. Well, look at this piece here, right? Yeah. It's, it's more like an artist spray, you know, with a spray gun, compared to this piece here. Yeah. Like, this is this is more down to earth. More spray. Just it's a pure writing. Like Brim, he's used the he's the outline of bubbles, and agent like clouds, and the, and his friend next door to him, he's used a lot of cloud. He's used characters. Yeah. Instead of actually using a letter. And same on the Bristol piece as well. The Goldie, Goldie, coming out swift. The colours are kicking, man. Yo, D. Justice for all, say it loud and spray it proud. Cool, it's fresh.
Yo, dude, this is Heath Town, and this is where I show my work. My own little log guy, and. Look at you, don't just name it, Jack. 57 now, something like that, man. 57 in this neighborhood. Just when we first started to cover this place, you know, it was just like, it was seen like the reverse thing, you know, like, always against it. But now it's like the graph's got, it's just like taken over, man. Take it away, take the graph away now. It's just like people are looking at the blank wall. You know what I mean, yeah. so it's like the people who come in from Birmingham and stuff, they need to look at this stuff and everything. Yeah, and and Sheffield or whatever. They look for it to look, man. But like they don't, you know, I mean, a lot of people, you know, they come up here and think, oh, how could this be here, man? <laughs> but this is where it's most important, isn't it? Because this is where, where you're doing it. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, man. You know, these estates, they try and throw people away on these estates, don't they? I'm telling them, man, it's just like. So they can do business as usual, isn't it? Concrete jungle. Eventually, people will realize that you can't look at blank walls forever, man. Yo, Brim, I took it to my old yard, man. This is where my first real graph sat on the walls in my room. But I want you to see it, man, you know, like how it all began. This is where I sat, man. There's no electricity here? No, man. This is my room, man. This was home, man. It's where we used to meet, man. It's where we used to talk about graffiti, man. People used to, anyone seen going in his bedroom, hey, he's done some wild stuff up there, man. No, he never wanted to leave this, man, because she... they took it away from me, you know. It's always going to be there. I always come back and I'll say it was always here. This is where it is, man. This is where it was, man. You I took pictures? Up. Yeah, I took pictures and shit, man. I got pictures of you. I live forever. No, the fonts are in Africa, my mother. Zen family. Some B-boys, man. The Zulu kings. I wonder if Ben Bader knows how much he influenced people. Influenced me. Zulu Kingsman. B-Boys. Statue of Liberty. I always look at her face, man. She's got a, she's got a face of steel, man. <laughs> but that's the only thing I could find to refer to in America, man. She's in New York, you know what I mean? She doesn't nation. mean nothing to me, man. But she's standing up for justice. That ain't me, bro. That ain't, that ain't real, bro. That's, that shit is for everybody else, you know? Because my father always told me, you're trying to beat the system, Junior. You're trying to beat the system. You ain't gonna beat the system. Sometimes I think about it. I'm surrounded, man. You're just surrounded. But I think about that. And then I think about, is it all really a dream? You know, because I already got a kid, man. Because I can't buy no food with no pictures of trains, man. It's just life, you just tell you I didn't try to get my kid out of the ghetto, though, bro. I don't know. I don't want man. my kid to go through what I went through, man. I'll tell you that much. But I just hope, man, that 20 years from now, you know? You got a graffiti? That's all one piece, man. It's just one piece in the jigsaw with all the other things, man. So I just hope I'm doing the right thing, man. You put your mark down, like, this isn't going to be a legend, man. I mean, you know what is coming over here? Spread the word over here, man. I mean, we've got to start making our own kind of movement, man. So joining with a fight kind of thing, because it's not a fight for funny games. It's a fight for life and what you want to do, man. Yo, B, where's this place at, bro? Yo, D said you see some people, man. Yo, man, this is like a train yard, dude. Word. Yo, we don't find this party, man. I'm gonna go home, man. I don't know. What's that, man? Yo, what's that over there? Yo, man. Where'd they go? I hear some music, man. We gotta be down there. Let's find them guys, man. See what's up. Yo, man, about time we found this. This is it, right? Hell yeah. Yo, D, where you been, man? Hey, what's up, man? Yo. Yo, let's go to this party, man. They can't walk in this party, man. Right there. Over here. Your mind if I appreciate it, uh, 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 uh. uh.
place over there, Brim. Yeah. I used to be a supermarket, look at it now. Barbecue. All over there, devastated. Got burnt down. The whole place, man. Who we'll burnt them, though? We'll burn, you know, what happened? It was like a race riot, what kind of riot? Nah. Right? It's everyone think it's just blacks against the Indians, right? It's not that at all. If it was black people that owned them shops, they still get robbed, right? And they still get burnt down. It doesn't matter who owns them, right? So we get people getting deprived for not having anything for a while, man? Yeah, you know? that... Put it this way, Brim, right? I personally didn't go out there kicking doors off shops and all that madness, right? But I can understand, same time I can understand the people who did. Getting tired of being suppressed and having nothing. Man. That's it, you see. Working and working all week and coming That's home it. with nothing. And... The madness about it is when the camera crews and all of them come down here, right? They go straight to the police. They you'll never find out the truth that way. Yeah, the people right. to talk to is these guys, us right. guys. Hey, guys, start the beat, man. Come on, get the beat, man. <laughs> Stronger, man. Okay. Okay, Bill, this is for you, right? And call it right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Come get it right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. How do I know I saw it on the TV show? I look and laugh at that, I heard it on the radio. News reports have said they're writing down the Soho. So I jumped out of my bed with my trousers and shoes. Not one second. I lose. I went out to the riot, they were stepping on my toe. Now guess what they were carrying? A brand new video, the name it. Writing an answer, writing an answer, writing an answer, no. Writing an answer, writing an answer, writing an answer, no. Writing an answer, writing an answer, writing an answer, no. How do I know I heard it on the radio? A piece of amber butter, sat down to have a chat. They talked about this, but wouldn't talk about that. Anyway, the most exciting issues when the cops said to Bam, please, Bam. You have to help me. All the African Zulus are coming after me. It said, Zulus, what do you mean, Zulus? You see, Zulus wear shoes. Zulus, what do you mean, Zulus? You ever seen Zulus wearing shoes? Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. As you can see, the whole place is in shutters. And how do you explain that? Unemployment, everything. Well, unemployment, all this virus. Unemployment doesn't mean. Look at the activities of the police themselves inside a community. You can see the problem. It became right? obvious that Mr. Hurd's walkabout would have to end very quickly if he was to get out. Right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, right in the answer, no. I know what's on it on the TV show. I tried to circle him down, but they would not listen. I tried to cool him down, but they would not listen. I said, man, I want to go down. I miss that thing. So come, my brother, help me carry the thing. It's not because he's not Indian or because he's black. It's just a simple reason and this simple fact that we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. It's because we got no money, we got no money. That's why we write in the answer, write in the answer, write in the answer, no. Write in the answer, write in the answer, write in the answer, no. So listen, everybody, just listen to me. The reason why they write is they got no money. You have to understand and see from their side. All the cops ever do is kick them on the backside. I mean, that's just it, man, you know? Started, started, say it started at the top, right? They knew all the shots were down here, see? And by the time they got to them shots, the cops didn't What's this? That was being built or got uh -huh. down? Uh-huh, they were building something there and the shot right there. What are they doing now? Why, why they have it all blocked off? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Why is the road blocked off? I don't ask questions. Don't ask questions? I don't. Why is there so much police here? Are you community cops? Excuse me. Are you a community cop? But are you a community cop though? Are you, are you with the community policing? Then why don't you communicate? Can't be a community cop if you don't communicate. A year ago, I could stand up and have a conversation with a cop all day. Now suddenly this happens, you don't want to talk to us. No, I don't want to talk about dancing. I'm, I'm just asking you. I'm not here to ask for you, right? You're not here to ask for me. everybody dancing? What's wrong with dancing? Isn't dancing better than fighting? No, Dancing? Why, 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 what makes you think we're just dancing? They think people don't got no more minds than that. <laughs> You think we can't do anything else but dance? 
quite obvious that we can. <laughs> I mean, when, when you're talking about it to people down there, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, we know, we know, because it's happening to them, it's all new. You try to talk to someone from far, right? They probably won't even believe you. It's so devastating to them, they probably won't even believe you. So they end up not believing you. I believe you, don't you get man, because I come from the same... Worse, worse than, you know, what's there. You might not, you might not believe it, but where, where we come from, it's worse. This is, this is normal South Bronx. This is normal South Bronx, all right? There ain't no good places, and you can't beat the system, because we're not part of the system. came back from England. Right. What, what parts of this one? I went all over, man. All over. I was chilling with the rides for and everything. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. It was having rides up in Birmingham and South London and Brixton again. Oh, yeah. And, and it makes you wonder the way it is over here in America. You know, we think we got it bad, you know, and they think they got it bad. But it's everywhere is like that. It's the same, same thing. You know? It's, just, oh, it's yeah, the same. It's definitely going to be an uprise with the social change. Everybody in the world wants to work. We need a working class, something that deals with economics that will bring about change for the people. You know, you got to do something before a riot happens or somebody gets killed or somebody has to be sent to the hospital. So we got to organize and stuff and, you know, let them know that we are rebuilding and getting ourselves together and we're not going for the type of system that they're giving us. <laughs> I don't believe we're in there. Just said it <laughs> Word, bro. We're just gonna get out there and just... That is massive. Them two buildings, man. You can get a fell on you, man. You know what I mean? Just the ant in the city, man. It's absolutely massive, man. Look at it. Look at it, man. Yeah, I bet that's Brooklyn over there. I bet, yeah. Just don't forget, this is the end of man at night, isn't it? So it goes round, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, what we'll do, right? We'll find Bill and Boyle. And we'll try and check out Bam as well. You know what I'm saying? Where Bam's at and whatever's happening. Take it from me here. That's where we are now. We follow the red one line. Thing, right? Yeah, I think it's one, two, but three. But then she said change somewhere around the other thing. Hold on, follow it up there. Where's the Bronx? This is the Bronx. Bronx is up there. Up to number one. That's it. Um, Yo, man, finally made it, man. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, we've got to be around here somewhere, man. Look at the tax, man. Just follow the tax. Hey, friend, this is good. Yo, man. Hey, the fly boys. Yeah. Those, man. This is built up, baby. Yo. <laughs> Big man. Shit. You go, you go wide, man. Really? Yo, man, you young bro. Really, 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 really. It's cool, man. Are you got over here, bro? Huh? Are you got over here? It's up there, boat. There you go. Playing, man. It's... It's Yo, hey, we've been doing a lot, man, since we've done, man. I bought the train up here, you know, from South Ferry. Do you want much graph on it, though? I don't know what we was on. It's just tags, all of the tags. Nah, Our generation is getting too old to just be doing this, man. I don't know. We are having fun, man. man. We like, we're not being quit, but we just chilling, man. Cause yeah. There's a lot of things to do. We got uh, work and all that. Like, you got the kids to look after, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bye went bombing. He got arrested. They caught a pin burglary on him. Tell me about it. I went out there, blew in trains and wind up getting caught for something else that I didn't even do. You do it and you do it and you do it and you just, you know, yeah. you get arrested, you get a record. That's being at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time. Keep on, you know, so many things you gotta battle, man. You know, I can't do it for much longer, man, if I don't get nobody though. Yeah. Yeah, young guys come up, man. You like these good guys, you know what I'm saying? No, all the youngsters you get, you know, no reinforcements are coming, man. Ain't no reinforcements. How long can we take it, man? You know what I'm saying? Bro. Yeah, but you in England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, they did some stuff in the handbook. Yeah, yeah, there. it's good. You know, piece over there. Step, man. Right. Anyway, man, we're gonna break out, man. Wake up, grab my face, take a look at yeah. the time. Whip out my tools and grab my outline. Got a little bit of stimmo, a little bit of sex. Hook up my style and make it complex. We the few, we the crowd, the DAT crowd. We be rocking the line, and I say it out loud. Rocking the style, that's the top of the pile. DAT outline, all in your pile. Bump it, bump it, bump it, bump it. Yeah, you want to go say what's with the band, man? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Check him out, man. Yo, what's up? How you doing, bro? Peace.
Yeah. Now we're just organizing, getting ready to get political. We're getting ready to start a big um, graffiti mural around this whole community center. Different things. We're going to have different things of like political people on the wall, party people on the wall, messages. So it's going to you know, be a whole big center wall. Of so what's like, what's like the political kind of stuff, you know? So what's going down now, you know what I'm saying? The well, political, we're trying to link up with groups that are saying something. We're going to look up with the Nation of Islam, the NAACP, and the Amnesty International. So, you know, we're getting ready to do our thing. That's it. So what about, what about pressure from the police, you know what I mean? Because, like, we had Anders Wolf last year, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that, over there now, it's like there's a conscious black man. Nobody don't want to say nothing. To get noticed now, we're going to get on a mass, you know what I'm saying? Because you all split up. you got London there, you got Nottingham there, you got Birmingham there, you know what I'm saying? It's all split up. Well, the youth are going to have to organize in each city, each town or whatever county, whatever they call it, and they're going to have to take a stand. We live in the same world, you know what I'm saying? There's a big, you know, there ain't no time gap, like, years. Right. We're right. the same nuclear threat, the same kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? We're all one like, nation. Yeah. Anybody think they something different, something wrong with them? Yeah. Wolverhampton, like Hansworth, is one of the most volatile areas in the West Midlands. A dead man collapsed in a scuffle with two policemen inside this shop. Eyewitnesses claim he collapsed because he was being held in an arm lock oh, by a police officer. Yeah, this as soon as the circumstances of Clinton McCurvin's death became clear. Oh, no, I'm telling you, I'm going to push it too far this time, boy. He'd apparently been trying to buy clothes with a stolen credit card. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that ain't no excuse to kill yeah. the guy, man. There ain't no excuse to try. Yeah, police are straight now, remember? Police are straight. Don't police forget about it. The rumours on the street were, and they were put out maliciously, he died through being beaten to death, stabbed to death, had his neck broken. I can't so believe this, you know. What is that right, man? Is, man that's gonna be it was almost certain, almost certain, he died of cardiac arrest, uh, probably enhanced by, by drugs. And bearing in mind... Drugs, this man. Man. What sort of drugs is this, man? <laughs> Talking about a teenager. Who could have already excused themselves for his death, though, Jess? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that. That's just like... <laughs> yeah. It seemed, and I'm convinced, I, I, I plead my own case, of course, I have to aim off because I'm... I'm obviously prejudiced in this. I'm convinced it was the right decision. It is a pity, in a sense, that the, 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 the post-mortem contradicted it. Oh, please, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause some eruptions. As Heath Town's concerned, it's got no boundaries, man, because there's always something happening, man. There's people who get killed and you lose friends and having to hustle just to make a living, man. Like, for most kids, there's, there's no way out, man. And it's got like a sentence that's never going to finish. I could have chipped out a long time ago, man, because the system's so twisted up, man, that the system doesn't understand anything anymore, man. With all that confusion, really, the only way I could find a way out was just to try and use my art as a, as a statement and just put my foot down. As far as I can see, like, doing the commissions for the school and, and getting involved with the community, it's, it's kind of giving me a little bit of space to breathe. It's kind of corny graph and, and you know, but it's all, it's fun, man. That's the word I want, man. It's just fun. And, like, young kids will look at that. Because they're looking at grey brick, man. They'll just see colour, man, and they look at it and they, they think, this is nice, man. And it's like, it kind of puts something in the back of their head. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't have nothing to look at, man. I mean, I was looking at people in care, and I was looking at care assistants, and was looking after me, man. It's like, all those feelings I wanted to portray have just, have just been like, I've had no sweat, man. It's like I've been able to go outside of my head, man. And as far as I live my time in town, I was just going to paint, man. There's nothing else for me to do. I mean, it's a front line, an urban no-go. It, it's just put that pressure on me to go out there and say, well, sure, I've just got to get out here and do this thing, man, because nobody else is going to listen to what I've got to say.